I hate when I hear this. Well, he didn't have the talent last year to really have a great defense. They were 10th, weren't they? Weren't they 10th in total defense last year? Big Sills. National Football Show, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. By the way, you guys don't think the upside for Jalen Hurts is Josh Allen, do you? You, you, you? you don't think that, do you? Okay? You, please, don't ever bring that up again. Started the show like, I mean, we had this conversation. The end. Now, I understand where some people are bringing this up. Dan, not so much that he's going to be Josh Allen, but he did have growth spurts. I'll bend on that. I'll I'll bend on that. Growth spurts. Okay? I saw Josh Allen know in Wyoming. I thought he was sensational then. His junior year, he was better. Senior year, not so much because he didn't really have great talent around him. Wyoming, too. His best coaching he's ever gotten is in Buffalo right now. Some actually do. Well, they're dumb. The recipe against the Rams is to run the rock. Flex, that's why I told you last year. If the Eagles were going to get an opponent that they should get in the first round, remember I said this. Anybody, Xander, I know you remember this. I'd rather line up against the Rams than the Bucks because you can run the ball. The 49ers killed them on the run every year. The Rams, everyone looks at Aaron Donald and goes, they're sensational on their D-line. No, they're not. They're not that good of run stoppers. It's not what they do. It's not what he does. You want to play, if you're the Eagles, you want to play the Eagles. That's right. Xander's like, I wanted anybody but Brady. You don't want Brady, man. You don't want to have to go on the road and play Brady. I'll take Stafford on the road with an Eagle team that's number one in the NFL. I think that Rams team, I do, and get this, I think Ken Dorsey knew exactly. Run the ball and then laser beam them. Okay. Allen got digs. Now, okay. I if you gave a if you gave Jalen Hurts Stephon Diggs, you think he's doing what Josh Allen did last night, dude? You are out of your tree. He does not have exactly what OG says: the raw talent of Allen, which Hurts has. Hey, watch this. Tom Brady does not have the raw talent that Aaron Rodgers has. But Brady wins more. There's your greatest example. Hurts and Allen are Brady and Rodgers. Jalen's got to come up with a way inside of his own system, the best Jalen Hurts he can be to win games. That's what Brady is, studying hard knowing where pre-snap stuff is. Jalen's not there yet. Shit, man. Mahomes just got there. Hertz will never be able to see the field like Allen. 6'5 helps. Okay? Let me get into... Um, Let me get into, by the way, top of the hour, we're going to look at all the NFL games. Re real quick here, I want to do this too. So Lamar Jackson has cut off his, and I knew he would, has cut off all of his um, negotiations with the Costa and the Ravens. They still want to get a long-term deal. You know, I have a problem with Jalen Hurts' style. I kind of have a problem with Lamar's style too. Can that style win a Super Bowl? I can't be unfair to this and go, Jalen can't win. We can Lamar. I have to be fair to that. Just because Lamar is a better version of Jalen 
that doesn't mean it still translates to Super Bowls. You feel me? Nobody comparing them. That's foolish. But if he can work on his anticipation and timing, which I think he will and has. Okay. Kevin just said, would you trade for Lamar? Boy, you know, Xander asked me that. How can I sit here and look you guys in the face and go, I don't like the running quarterback style and say, let's go get Lamar Jackson for $230 million in draft choices. I don't know. The Ravens are even, the Ravens are even kind of like waffling on it. And if the Ravens are waffling, they see him every freaking day. You feel me? I mean, if the Ravens, the damn Cardinals gave Kyler Murray what he wanted, I think that's kind of an insult. If you're if you're Lamar's camp, so then he get a deal done. I'm an MVP. What has Kyler Murray done? I've actually beaten Mahomes. So I can't do this to you guys. Because then it comes off like I do have an agenda against Jalen and I hate him. I keep telling you guys I don't like the running quarterback style. Hey, but let's go sign Lamar. Look, all that stuff before, man, was all kidding around. That's a great question that Xander asked me. I don't know if I'd spend $230 million in three draft choices and three number ones to go get him when I'm not convinced that style wins Super Bowls. So today, right now, on September 9th, as we get ready for the weekend, if I have question marks about Jalen Hurts going into Sunday and into this 2022 year, I got question marks on Lamar, too, of whether or not he can win. And I'm not the only one. The Baltimore Ravens have it. Lamar, hey, Lamar has no camp but his mom. I get it. I'll tell you something, too, Brian. If I'm negotiating for $250 million, I might want someone else in the room other than my mom. I don't know, man. That's... That's that's too many bags of money to be sitting there, you know, not having pros in the room. You know what I mean? I'm... Big picking goes, hey, Huntley could be the reason. Man, I love that kid. Okay? Thanks like this, that's not fair. Lamar's been working to be a better passer. Then why didn't they sign him? Hey, that's all great, Dank. And I understand what you're saying with my criticism of my take. But the Ravens didn't sign him. Stick with the – hey, Dank, I'm not I'm not attacking you in any way. I'm just saying this. The Ravens didn't even buy it. They're still hedging. They don't want to put up that kind of money. I don't know. I mean, it's not just me here. Lamar got, got an arm talent. I've seen him stretch the field. The Ravens failed to get him wideouts. That's because wideouts don't want to play there. Wideouts don't want to play in a running system. Okay? That's why the Titans got rid of A.J. Brown. That's a running football team. They didn't make the number one seed in the AFC last year because they threw the ball. They made the number one seed in Tennessee last year because they run the ball. That's who they are. And they'll always be that. Money talks, pay them $25 million and wide receivers will come. Okay? But then you got to make this call. Xander's right. But here's the reality. You ain't paying $50 million to a quarterback and $25 million to a wideout. Not happening. Not happened in Green Bay. Not happened in Kansas City. Not happening. Why do you think those guys are no longer in their buildings? Because you paid one, the one guy. You're not going to see $50 million and $25 million. You're not. That's the reality. Like Xander said, follow the money. Okay, well, I'll follow it. The teams that have the $50 million quarterbacks, why do you think Amari Cooper is now sitting in Cleveland? Cowboys ain't paying $45 million for... Dak Prescott and $24 million for Amari Cooper? Not happening. The reason that A.J. Brown is in Philly is because they're paying the quarterback 1-1. That's the only reason. 
Oh, and they're friends. I guess I think that matters somewhere. Okay. Happened in LA. They gave him more guaranteed money. They lowered his base. He's making 34. And Cup took less money. Remember what Cup said in the offseason? Hey, you don't have to be the highest paid wide out in the game to be happy. Cooper Cup got his numbers last night. They didn't get the W, though. Okay? Let me get into Jonathan Gannon and his approach against the Lions. Would we agree this is your biggest concern going into this game? Even the even the Jalen suspect guys like myself. That's a bigger deal for me. Is the DC? Would you agree that that's your major concern? Because I hate when I hear this. Well, he didn't have the talent last year to really have a great defense. They were 10th, weren't they? Weren't they 10th in total defense last year? Weren't they 10th? Am I right when I say that? Okay. We had zero points in three quarters in the playoffs. My concern's quarterback, that's Xander. Okay, fair enough. A year ago... Your defensive coordinator had the 10th ranked defense in the National Football League. Am I right when I say that? Right? 10th? Shit, you should win Super Bowls with that. 10th ranked defense. I can guarantee you this. Bengals weren't 10th. Rams weren't 10th. But he didn't have the talent a year ago. No, no, no wasn't talent per se on the field. They didn't have the talent with the guy wearing the headsets. This guy's hit, and why I have an ass with Jonathan Gannon, he's hid behind players' inefficiencies. I freaking hate coaches who do that and blame the players for their failures. Coach them up. Do what Doug Peterson and Frank Reich did to Nick Foles. Your job as an NFL coach, no matter if it's Carson Wentz, Nick Foles, Nate Sudfeld, whomever, coach the kid up. Let the chips fall where they may. Well, we didn't have the talent. That's such a freaking lame-ass excuse, and it rubs me the wrong way every time I hear people say that. That guy's not going to be any different than who he was a year ago. Now, the play and the level of play may cover that. And you know what most of you guys will say? Seals, the defense was great. Well, it wasn't because of him. Jonathan Gannon is going to be the same guy he was last year. He had a 10th-ranked defense last year. What, you think they're going to be a top three? Because of his understanding, I have no idea how this guy got this job. I, I, who, who hired him? Hertz is going to have to win a lot of ball games with his arms this year. Team's going to stack the box. This is what the Lions are going to do. Lions are going to put eight guys in the box against Jalen. Now, I don't think that that's still going to be enough. I think that they're so dominant at the point of attack. By the way, I can't wait to listen to Stoutland again talking about uh, Landon Dickerson. That is such a great compliment. When you have the best O-line coach talking about a player coming out of camp as the best player in his group and you have the best group in the league, I can't tell you how awesome that is and how you want, want to run through a wall now for that coach. You don't think Landon Dickerson's not going to have a Pro Bowl year and all pro season? You got the best coach in the freaking sport 
saying that that kid's the most improved dude in my group. If that doesn't give you goosebumps on your arm as a player, nothing ever will in this league. You come out of that working hard, and your coach, who's got all those gifted, talented players like Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson and Jordan Malata, he picks you out of the group. You stand out in the group. Freaking unbelievably great. Man, God, would I love to be Landon Dickerson. That is so awesome. It's funny, man. I've never heard Jonathan Gannon single any one of his guys out at all during camp. Not one of them. I haven't heard this. This guy's been sensational. I, this guy's been unbelievable. He's going to have a hell of a year. I've not heard Jonathan Gannon actually talk about any of his players, except maybe Hassan Reddick covering tight ends. That's exactly what I don't want to hear. The Bill CB played five to 10 yards. Oh, yeah, they were hitters, though. And you see what Flex says? Quarterbacks are playing five to 10 yards off the ball in the front. Yeah, well, guess what? The defensive line got home. Because you know why? They knew that makeshift offensive line. And I said it to everybody. I said it to you guys yesterday. The Rams' own line is not that good. You're not going to need to bring pressure. You're not going to need it. That's a makeshift O-line. You know, three straight years that that team never really had any significant injuries in the offensive line, and now they got a brand new group up there? I wouldn't like that. Hey, and by the way, brand new group, brand new faces. It affected the Rams, but it won't affect the Eagles, right? See, the difference is you're playing a lesser opponent, though. But I knew the Bills were going to run that team off the field. I told you that. I, and, and I even said this. It was never going to be close. Well, it was even at halftime when it was tied, it didn't seem close. It didn't seem close. They had four turnovers and they waxed the world champs by 21. That's freaking unbelievably awesome. <laughs> I mean, you worked that dude over, man. Okay? You worked that dude over big time. Absolutely, man. Let me ask you something here, too. You know, just just, just kind of on an off note here. How far do you think this team is going this year? I've told you where I think. And if they fall short of it, I'll hammer them. Sills is the <laughs> Hey, thank you. How far do they go? 11 wins. And bounced in round one. Wow, that's Xander's take. So they're the Cowboys. You know why he's saying they're bounced in round one? Because the quarterback. That's my spin on that. You don't have a playoff quarterback. You don't have what we saw last night in Buffalo. You don't have that. Dak's not that guy. How about this? You want to hear something? Dak's not that guy. Dak's not a playoff quarterback. It's okay. A lot of teams have him. Garoppolo is a playoff quarterback. He sucks. Yeah, he's five and two. I know. He sucks. That's why they kept him. <laughs> That's why Trey Lance isn't the captain. <laughs> Told you, week four, Garoppolo will be the starting quarterback once they start seeing the reality that that guy sucks. Division one double A guy. There's only two of them in the league starting, and they came from the same place. Gee, really? How's that panning out? <laughs> Honestly, how's that panning out? Second round playoff. Super Dave says if Jalen wants a new deal, he's got to make it to the conference title. I think if Jalen wants $40 million, he has to make it to the conference championship game. In the NFC, though, maybe we do have a playoff quarterback. It's a good take, Mike. Mike, especially after what you saw with Stafford last night, maybe so. Okay. 
just Mike, you got you 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 guys are right. That that makes me go back more to center. You're right. There's not a lot of quarterbacks. Isn't it funny? All the 40 year old guys are the playoff quarterbacks in the NFC. I mean Brady and Aaron Rodgers, right? Stafford, man, I don't know. I think he's hurt more than people think. Joe Maddock goes, damn, what's Gannon's background? I don't know. I don't know where he came from. I think he came from Indy. I don't know. I don't know. I've never. Then again, I didn't know who uh, Shane Steichen was. I didn't know who Kevin Stefanski was. Brandon Staley, I guess he was a coordinator when he was in, what, the Rams? I guess. I never heard of any of these guys. Brandy goes, damn, Dan, you love Garoppolo more than his family. Yeah, I do, because he wins. Don't you like winners too? Rage goes, Dan Cilio, did you hear Hertz echo a similar comment to you in a presser? He said, I'm not worried about expectations because that means it's something you haven't done yet. Jalen, I love you. Huh. Very good. I, we all know they watch. We all know that. You know they watch. I don't hear any outside noise. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay? The organization does. No, I I, I said this yesterday, Xander, about Jalen Hurts. If you want to face – and people mistook this, that I think he's a good quarterback – I said this about Hurts. If you want a face of your franchise and you want a guy who does all the right things, you want a guy that says all the right things, you want a guy who conducts himself in a great, great way to represent your company, this guy should be on the front cover of that manual. Dak Prescott, too. These guys have conducted themselves professionally. And I made the comparison. Then you got that idiot down in Carolina selling T-shirts unleashed he's such a punk baker mayfield is a punk that's why everybody in cleveland now that played with him is talking shit on him he's a punk jalen hurts is not he's a leader don't get that mis don't get that confused with i think he's an elite guy because it's not but I can work with him and I want, how about this? I want to work with him. I don't want to work with him or block for him, Baker Mayfield. I want to block and work for him. And I'm rooting for Jalen. I'm not rooting for Baker Mayfield. Fly says, Cilio, your boy Ken Dorsey called a great game last night. I called him and told him, too. We talked at length about Josh Allen's development and growth. And by the way, not too much of a drop-off from uh, Brian Dable, was it? Ken Dorsey's going to be a head coach somewhere. You watch. That's why he didn't take the Miami Hurricane coaching job as being an offensive coordinator. They offered it to him. I set it up. Mario goes, you think Ken would take the job? I go, I'll ask him. Ken goes, man, I'm the OC now in Buffalo with Josh Allen. I go, I wouldn't leave. You'll be a head coach in two years. If that dumbass writ Jonathan Gannon can get a job in the NFL or an interview with the Houston Texans, Ken Dorsey will be a hot commodity next year. This year hurts final season to prove himself. Jeez, man, we've been on this hamster wheel so much flex. It's got to be the end of this conversation. Jesus, criminy. How many years you been on this hamster wheel about your quarterback situation? It's got to be nauseating. Man, it's like since it's like 6 years. It's a hamster wheel. We're going to look at week 2 of the National Football League. Also, D Gun from Sports Take and also from our fabulous post game show which you will see and hear on Sunday. I cannot wait for that. Can't wait for Mike and Seth to be sitting there. I'm glad that Big Joe and uh, Xander put these guys in different chairs. I think they have at least. 
So hour two, hit the like button. Keep it here on the National Football Show.